Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and today we're going to do a little uh, work on the old John Deere two-cylinder 630 model from 1961. She's a little rusty, runs pretty good, but the brakes are virtually non-existent, so we're going to do a brake job on it, and I don't expect it to be easy, but of course here's the brakes on a John Deere tractor and this would be very similar to uh, an A or a 620 or a 60 and possibly similar to the B series I'm not sure but first thing we're gonna do is uh, is take the brake drum off now I tried to do that I took this big nut off and was not successful she stuck pretty good so I'm gonna take the whole assembly off okay in order to take the entire brake assembly off there are three bolts down here where I'm pointing but they're not going to show up very well on the camera but I've already taken them out and they look like these two there's a third one yet too and that being done I have knocked this loose and the whole thing is going to come out shaft and all now when you do that you don't have to worry about oil coming out not much will will come out Okay, in the next sequence I will have that out and on the floor. Okay, I pulled the brake assembly out of there and this is what looks like when you look into the, uh, the hole and the big bowl gear is in there, not too far in, but as you pull this out you have to deal with this little uh, dowel pin that aligns too and that might cause you to hang up. Don't expect it to be real easy to get out because you know, even though the IT manual tells you in about one sentence how to get it out. Now here's the entire assembly removed and there will be 90 weight oil coming out of here and that's what the rag's for. This pinion gear here is what rides on the large uh, bull gear and of course the brake drum stopping all of that stops that side of the tractor. Now we need to get the shaft out of there and the drum off, so I'm going to take it up to the bench and uh, put a puller on there and see what I can do about that. I may have to heat it. Okay, it's the next day and I'm still trying to get the drum off of the uh, shaft. The shaft goes all the way through and uh, the pinion gear is on the end. So uh, I don't have a puller large enough to do that, so I'm going to use the inertia method, meaning I'm going to drop it on the end of the shaft. Now I put the nut on the shaft to protect the thread and I'm going to drop it onto a piece of hardwood. The thing weighs about 40 pounds so this would be the equivalent of striking the end of the shaft with a 40 pound sledge. Here we go. And there it is. She's loose. All we got to do is take the nut off now. And there it is. Now we got to get rid of all that toxic brake dust. Don't breathe that in. Put some protection over your mouth. All right. We're going to disassemble it now. The shaft will pull right out. And that can be cleaned up. Now when we flip this over, you're going to see that we got some worn brake shoes and the rivets are already showing, so I'm going to clean this up real good and then put it on the bench and show you how to take these shoes off of here. Be sure and wear a mask, unless you're 65 like me or older, and we only got a few years to live anyway, so then we don't worry so much, but if you're a young man, be sure and protect your lungs.